Shut up again, as we say in Norway, Martina here, and today we're gonna start on a larger project. Yes! I don't know about where you guys live, but at least here in Norway, lasers are illegal. If you point them to your eye, you can fry your skull or something. I don't know. But the concept of lasers intrigues me. And so whenever I watch like sci-fi movies or play sci-fi games, when you see these awesome laser guns, I just want it. But as they're dangerous, I'm not really gonna use the real lasers, but I don't want to just make a prop gun either. So this is what I'm planning to do. Got myself a whiteboard. I'm a big boy now. Laser gun challenges. Oh, I want to use the different colors. First of all, I want to use a uh, hundred watt LED. So it kind of blinds people. Let's test the brightness of this thing. I'm gonna look away. Ugh. I mean, this tiny thing can light up basically the entire room. Oh my god. This tiny little thing. That's what a 100 watt LED looks like. But it's not dangerous in the sense that laser guns are dangerous, but it will still do some damage. But the problem with 100 watt LEDs is that they get really hot when you turn them on, so you gotta keep it cool, which will be a challenge in a laser gun because it's a very much contained space. And also most 100 watt LEDs uh, require 30 volts. The batteries I'm gonna use are not 30 volts, so we gotta step up the voltage. Second challenge, which is kind of unnecessary, but in my head necessary, is to be able to swap the LED. It would be really cool if we could be able to make some sort of contraption that makes it possible to switch out the LED diode for another color when it's in the gun. Third challenge is LED strips, uh, maybe some EL wire and Arduino. I need the Arduino to be able to control all of the other stuff here. The most important of all of these still make it cool while still containing all this other stuff. So this is what I've drawn up for the laser gun and what I would like it to look like. I'm thinking to make the core of the gun out of MDF and that will be the material that everything is going to be attached to. The batteries are going to be on top here so they're kind of integrated into the design and not separate from it or hidden. I'm not sure about the servo here or the gels up here. Gels are just transparent colored uh, plastic sheets that you can put in front of light to make it different colors. Up here it's not gonna be binoculars of course, it's gonna be a monocular. And in the middle here is gonna be a nice acrylic tube to kind of break up the design a little bit. I might do some adjustments along the way, but this is what we're working from. I just want to break it down into something very basic that everyone can understand. The Arduino Nano is basically going to be the brain of this whole operation. It's going to tell all the other components what to do. The batteries is going to power the whole thing. This is the 100 watt LED I showed you earlier. We're going to have two fans and an LED strip and they're all going to be connected to the Arduino in some way. We have two converters here to adjust the voltage to what we need. And that's, I guess, basically all we need to know. <laughs> I'm sorry. <clears throat> that schematic back there is kind of a temporary thing, mostly for myself to know where to go from here. But I'm gonna make a proper schematic so you guys can take a look at it if you want. And as always, it will be down in the description if you wanna check it out. We have the schematic, we have the sketch. I think the next natural step would be to cut out the MDF base so that we can just start attaching all the electronics directly to that. But I can't just cut out this entire sketch shape that I have here because the shape itself I'm gonna make out of EVA foam, probably. I'm hoping this paper is see-through. Yeah, noise. I 
should probably make this out of cardboard first, shouldn't I? I want it to be like a huge two-hand weapon, you know? Not just some teeny tiny weenie gun. But we need a giant ruler. Oh, oh no! Oh dear. Oh, frick! Just because I moved this? How? of truth let's let's check the size of this thing gotta look in the viewfinder oh my god it's huge <laughs> oh my god no this is too big <laughs> oh i think it's that tube okay hold on hey perfect timing fits <gasps> Oh my god. Oh, this is so cool. Yeah. No, this is too big. Okay, let's see now. Yeah, that is better. Now it's still huge, but I'm actually able to hold around it. Oh yeah, it's gonna be cool. I just went out to get the mail and to get some fresh air from the basement. Look what I got! My Mecca Bunny shirt arrived! Ah, I'm so happy about how it turned out. It's so cool! Oh, and by the way, you can get a shirt like this for yourself. If you like it, I'll link it down below if you want to have a look. Now let's go find some materials because we need something to make the base of the gun out of. Um, I couldn't find any MDF in the basement so we gotta go uh, to the garage and see if we can find anything in there. Let there be light! We do have a lot of veneer. Hmm. I don't I think we're gonna use it for anything else. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna steal that veneer. But we're gonna cut the wood here outside so we avoid a lot of dust and stuff in the basement because that's just messy. kind of larva are you? That's weird. I'm a bit back and forth between attaching the acrylic tube now or later. But the thing is that I kind of need to do it now so that I can position the LED and all the electronics correctly according to all the measurements and everything. And also I gotta cut away this part here at the front and they will be very wobbly and floppy if I don't attach that to the acrylic tube. Yeah, I think I'm gonna do that and then I can just like wrap the acrylic tube in some bubble wrap or something to protect it while I work on the other stuff. to see you here in my basement. So yesterday after I had glued this 
nice little model together. I was just kept up by the issue of the electronics because it's just so much at once. And I don't know where to start. And just to break it down a bit, I've made a very simplified setup that I'm gonna test out. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wire up the two fans, the boost converter and the 100 watt LED together, and then use just a 12 volt power supply to power the whole thing. Just a, a very simplified version of what I'm gonna do finally, but just to see if it works. But I also want to make the contraption that is going to be able to switch out the LEDs. I have a mechanism in mind, but for that I need to make a 3D model and print it out. So let's get into Fusion 360. This 3D print is looking pretty good. The holes are looking a bit droopy. We might have to fix that. Uh, for now, we can check if the LED fits. It should fit right inside this square. Oh, yes. It's perfect. Well, we got most of our stuff set up already. The only thing we're missing are a couple of rods that we can put into these holes. So let's get to the store and buy some rods. Got some rods, boy. I actually found two rods that I needed, one 4mm and one 8mm. As I said, the, the holes looked kind of droopy and yeah, it doesn't fit. Let me get my drill. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> okay. Jeez, that took a lot of time. I think we've found a nice middle ground now because we've tested a lot of different sizes of spring. The first ones we did were a bit too short and it was just really hard to pull the whole thing backwards. With this length, it is a bit easier. I can not easily, but I can pull it backwards like this. So I'm able to switch out the LED at the front here. It's probably not a thing I'm gonna do very often, but it makes it possible. The springs will then push the LED back towards the heatsink that will be kept cool by these fans that keeps a continuous flow of air through the gun. And also when the LED gets pushed back, it gets pushed against the connectors that we're gonna make next. Actually, what I'm thinking is we have these momentary push buttons that have a pretty nice just metal plate on it. I think I'm just gonna steal the top here and solder those to a couple of wires and basically just put them here. I 
of my power supply. <laughs> ah, I'm so nervous about this. This is the moment we know if this is going to hell or if it's gonna work. It works! Yes! I'm so relieved. Let's glue this thing in place then. Let's find my voltmeter. So right now we got most of our electronic components ready and set up. But before we can test it, we gotta fix uh, the voltage on the boost converter. We're gonna get a 12 volt input here. To test the voltage, I'm gonna use a voltmeter and check the output on this boost converter. And then we can just turn the knob here to adjust the voltage up to about 30 volts, which is what we need. I'm legitimately scared now. I really, really hope this will work. Okay, power supply. Nope. <laughs> okay, I think I've got it now. So if it works, the fans should turn on immediately when I power it. There you go. Yes! Holy sh! I can't wait to show Hansi. Let's pick this up. Oh, I feel so badass holding this. Then boom! I think we've come a long way today, fellas. Now, next time, the first thing we gotta address is the issue of the light spreading because right now it's just spreading all over the place. And I don't want it. We want to direct the light through the tube. So I think the way I'm probably gonna solve that is to build something around here using some reflective tape or something on the inside to bounce the light back and forth. If I can find an appropriate focal lens I'll probably buy that too because that really helps just focusing the light in one direction. Next time we'll also add the Arduino and probably the rest of the electronic components like the EL wire, RGB lights, all that jazz. But in the meantime, you can check us out on Instagram at the NerdForge, where we post regular updates almost every day on the project, behind the scenes stuff, and just what we do in general. Finally, I just wanna thank our Patreons and our YouTube members, because you guys have really just sponsored this whole project. It's just weird in a good way and humbling and amazing that you guys want to support what we do so thank you i really appreciate every single one of you and for you newcomers here make sure to subscribe so you can see the next part of this project thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next episode bye bye